This is the main Avengers theme, okay? So this is like from the original Avengers movie. Let me know if you want the theme or exactly which theme you want me to teach from Avengers Endgame or any other kind of Marvel movie in the comments below and I will do it. We will be starting off really simple with this tutorial, just with the right hand, and then we'll be adding the chords after so that everyone can do at least the first half of this tutorial. Quick links are in the description and on the screen now. Let's get started now. Even though so, we're going to start off with the main melody. I'm going to get you to play this chord first of all, and just to be able to visualize this chord. Um, we will be doing this, I filmed yesterday a Harry Potter tutorial for the uh, Harry Potter Hedwig's theme. We, I got you to start exactly the same as this so we can visualize the notes that we're kind of going to be sticking to, just visualizing this shape first of all. The first note of this, the Okay, the first note and then the first move really requires us to be able to play this chord so that we can do this stretch from the thumb to the little finger and this is the E note just above middle C. So this is middle C, which is exactly in the middle of your piano and you can see we've got this pattern of two black notes, three black notes or two black keys, three black keys. And it's this one just here which will tell us where middle C is and this one just here, just above the two black keys, where we need to put our thumb to start off with. Then we would play that little finger just above where the three black keys are, so on this white key here, but we use the black keys to navigate our way around, and that would be the chord that we're kind of visualizing. It would be really handy if you play that now, so we've got a bit more control over our hands, but we were gonna be going for the thumb, thumb again, twice, little finger, third finger, okay, and then we won't have to move our hand for all the melody of this tutorial and it'll be really easily. What we're going to do, bam, 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 and then just work our way down and just play one black key which is here, bam, bam, okay, so I've hit those five notes. The first finger is the one that hits the black key just there. Let me show you that one more time. Thumb, 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 little finger, third finger, and then back down. Bam, 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 bam. I can't help but make these noises because it's so awesome. It's such a cool theme. Um, so that is the starting point. If you need more help with that, you really need to begin by looking at what's called the C major scale and my C major scale tutorial, or learning some something, something, something such as Happy Birthday, which I'll also link to in the description. Those tutorials are all for free on YouTube. That will help you. Just control your fingers a little bit more, and then you'll be able to come back to this and absolutely nail that. But what we have in this tutorial really, and the piece that I played at the start, is chords with the melody in the right hand, but the melody is actually just played in the chord, and it's the top note of the chord that we kind of hear as the melody, and that's kind of the way this works. So the first chord that I'm going to get you to play is that same E minor chord, but a lower inversion of it so that the E is the top note. If that is new to you, I've got a chords video that will really help you get an idea about these inversions. It's exactly the same concept, but it just means the same notes, but we're playing them um, in a lower, a lower part. So we played a G note up here before. It's down here. It's still a G. It sounds the same, but it's an octave lower. Okay, that, that idea is called inversions or chord inversions if you want to research that further for your own playing. So in the right hand, um, the first chord is E minor, then we change to a C, which would just be a change of the first finger, there, okay, okay, then we hit that same with the same fingers that we used before, but when we hit the second one, that A with the third finger, we're going to try and hit this A chord, or at least the A and the E. 
Okay? That's the E minor. Is the C. Little finger on the high B note. A chord with an A as the highest note. Then, couldn't be simpler, C major chord. First chord I would teach every beginner to a D chord. And this is just a lower inversion, again, to make sure that F note. That would be our normal D chord, but we're making sure that F sharp, sorry, then F sharp, uh, is in the top. And that's our melody note. So that would give us just that in the right hand. Yes, I am still making the mouth sounds for the bar because it's so good, but just the piano keys on its own. Okay, so again, a little bit, bit of experience with piano chords is what you would need to be able to do that. And experience with piano chords will teach you, my tutorial on piano chords will teach you that when we have the right hand playing a chord, what the left hand does is plays the root note of that chord, or the bass note of that chord, which is the E, in this case, for the E minor chord. And when the chord changes to C, the root note changes to a C. So we have thumb, first finger, or middle finger in fact actually, probably doing it with the middle finger. Then going to the little finger, you guessed it, for that A chord when we go bam, bam. Okay? C. Makes sense for that chord, right? D. D in the left hand. So that experience with kind of standard chords in the right hand, root note in the left, is how we can do this, and here we've got the melody on top as well, but really easily, we're just playing the chords. So that would be, that didn't sound very good, did it? Let me do that again. Then to the C, but I'd go for the root note uh, first, so left hand, right, right, melody, and then the A chord, C, and D. That's all I was doing, the extra thing that we add again when we get used to this idea of a chord in the right hand, perhaps playing a melody as well, and a bass note in the left hand is adding the octave with a hand span of our left hand playing with the little finger and the thumb, like that. Now, if you're in your a young teenager or kind of any, anywhere between, you know, any age you want to start playing piano, uh, which, which could be as young as, you know, three or something, I guess. Um, up until about 12 to 14, until, until you get to kind of at least 12 or 14, this is going to be impossible. You're not going to be able to do this left hand. So, that's just going to be something that when you want to do this, just play the higher one. go for that one but if you do have a left hand that can span out and even many adults struggle with this even Elton John really struggled to do this and I'm not sure he can uh, do too much of this stuff and that's just something that is just the, the nature of the beast but it does add a lot of drama when we can add it in so this is that same right hand but adding the octaves in the left hand. And then the end of that little section is this chord. So C in the bass, either just one or the two. And then we add this, it's a C sus two, and then we go to that triad. Call a C sus two because we add the second note of a C major scale replacing the third, so we're suspending the third and adding the second note of that scale, and going to the third, and then doing the same on the D note, so D sus2 to, to a normal D. Use whichever fingers feel comfortable for you, that would probably be my recommendation. And I'm not using the sustain pedal at all on that section, 
but to allow, just finally, the last thing in this tutorial, to allow these chords to sound really big, and to allow me to move, to allow me to have time, I'm using the sustain pedal, and, and so I'm pressing that down with my right foot, and uh, I lift off it at the same time as when I um, press the chord and then immediately go back down on it. I am lifting off of that sustain pedal after I play every chord. Lift and then straight away press it back down so it rings out. C, lifting my foot, pressing it back down. Still holding it down, lift off the sustain, put my foot back down which you can see by that little green indicator light so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Lift it, it goes green again, so I press it down. That's what I'm doing and that enables. That kind of big sound. And then to finish, I had an octave in the bass because it's really low and dramatic. Really cool, which I, you only get from these bigger keyboards if your keyboard only has 49 keys. I haven't got them down there. That is a reason to get a big keyboard. Um, this keyboard that I'm using right here, linked, uh, I've got links to it in the description where it's available on Amazon. It is a Yamaha and it's very affordable, very good for beginners, um, as is the sustain pedal as well. Thank you so much if you got to the end of this tutorial, the end of this tutorial, I should say. Uh, please subscribe to this Andy Piano YouTube channel. Let me know your uh, comments and requests, song requests, lesson requests, what you want to see from this piano channel and I will get all those lessons to you as soon as I possibly can. We're uploading every week now, so make sure you subscribe, and I will see you again in one of these lessons. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.